Monday, September 25th, 2023. First wave of visa applications to Europe rejected for failure to include passport signatures. The rise and fall of Weidstein box offices, a brief history. Sold out, replica astronaut suits experience an extreme increase in sales. <gasps> the aliens are coming! I hope the power hiccups didn't affect the machine too much. This is a very slow start. Ah, here we go. Right in the nick of time. <laughs> Welcome, you two. Hello, Silver. Amanda. It's a relief to see you safe and sound. Hi, Agablisa. Yeah, we are also very relieved. It was a little scary last time. We analyzed the events of the evening and found them 31.245% frightening and 68.755% distasteful. Leaving in such a hurry is not an experience we care to repeat. Hopefully this will be a quieter evening. Yes, that is our wish. Anyhow, greetings are customary in cafes, bars and restaurants, are they not? Therefore, good evening. Good even, even if in reality, it should be good night. We find that very strange. That good evening is a way to say hello, but good night is a way to say goodbye. Is this assuming that you never start an encounter at night? Because that theory would appear to be empirically wrong. You, she is talking over us so much right now. We're trying to talk to her. I mean, I guess they're just like rhetorical questions, but still, oh, wow. For example, this is the second time we meet, Earth Child. And both times have been at night. Our 100% sample does not bear out the aforementioned premise. But uh, additionally, the very concepts of evening and morning seem to only marginally hum Amanda. Yes, what is it? I think Arkapalisa tried to interject a couple times. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, Arkapalisa. Uh, no, it's alright. I didn't have anything important to say. The truth is, I'm not sure why our greetings have a circadian rhythm. Earthlings are creatures of habit, I suppose. They get attached to certain ways of using language, and often don't question the actual meanings of words. True. Yes. At least in this particular case, no one's getting hurt. Once I arrived here, I've observed that some thoughtless uses of language can have a much more painful effect. Indeed. We see and we agree and we apologize for interrupting you, Akaplisa. Don't worry about it. Communicating without a hive connection is rather challenging. Besides, we have been in a somewhat heightened mental state. We have been finding Earth quite curious, extraordinary even. We are keen to absorb as much information as we can during our visit here. It seems to us our siblings who previously visited Earth came back with findings of rather superficial nature. We are excited to gather data that will advance the science of Earth studies. Our return to the Hive will be triumphal. Ahem. Of course we do not do such things for the glory. But still, we look forward to seeing our work recognized. So are you a scholar, Miss Amanda? Yes, that is a good equivalence of what we are. We specialize in data gathering and analysis of poor, poorly charted territories. That sounds very impressive. Oh, DGA PCT is much less impressive than our siblings mission. Silva is an explorer and an adventurer. He is deserving of respect. And his mission to find a prospective partner is of the utmost importance. Still prospective, I see. No progress on that front, I take it? Well, I wouldn't quite say that. Very intriguing. You're always so professional, Akablisa. So he got, he got a love interest? Is that what he's telling us? 
You rarely ask direct questions, but I think you're a little curious about the gossip, right? What is gossip? Gossip is information about what goes on in other people's lives. Oh, I see. So it's like data on individual beings then? Kind of. Yeah, that sounds about right. We love gossip. What is wrong with it? Nothing at all, and I would love to listen to yours, but let me at least make you a drink first. We must consider our choice of drink carefully. We suggest our sibling goes first. Are you ready to order, Silver? I have an idea, yes. Can we expect an interesting new recipe? You're a barista yourself, after all. A barista? How am I... Oh, you mean the cafe? Yeah, you mentioned you were opening one, didn't you? I am, after a fashion. But I'm not focusing on drink menus just yet. Also intriguing. I promise I'm not just withholding information, Arkablisa. But things are a little complicated. Is it alright if we start with a drink? I'll try my best to explain everything afterwards. Sounds good to me. Then I think I'll just take something simple tonight. Do you remember the first drink I ordered when I came here years ago? Wasn't it a coffee-based drink? It was. A coffee drink and I think you mentioned it was very bitter. Bitter and tart, right? Yes, I think that's it. A bitter and tart coffee drink. Was that the first one? Wasn't the first one the, um... Like that... Uh, like a uh, space thing? No, that was after. That was like the milk whatever. So it was a coffee. Coffee drink. Was it just- it was just coffee... Lemon? Sure. Black lemon. Here you go. Here's a black lemon for you, Silver. This definitely looks like what I had in mind. And it tastes interesting. It's very minimal yet strong. Very enjoyable. I think I might prefer sweeter things, but I'm glad I tried this one. You know, I second what Miss Amanda said last time. You feel the same in some ways, yet also very different. I don't know. I do think that everyone keeps changing all the time. Maybe we feel like our personalities make sense, because we see ourselves in hindsight. But the truth is, we make ourselves up as we go along. That is an insightful theory, Silver. You have grown wiser. You used to be a rather youthful and innocent part of the hive. Uh, well, I've had to learn and adapt here. It has been a couple of years after all. But despite all that, and considering what I said about people changing all the time, I don't think I've changed that much. In fact, it's as if I've been becoming a little more me every day. Just revealing myself. Speaking of that, we meant to ask. How did you choose this specific earthling appearance over another? Our observation is that earthlings come in great many variety. Our observation is that earthlings come in a great many varieties, with a near infinity of combinations. Did you run a random generation algorithm? Oh no, it wasn't random at all. Even if at first it wasn't a conscious process. I chose the way I look because it felt true to who I am. When I first started coming to this cafe, I had a hard time understanding this world and its rules, but there were already some things that I could relate to, some things that felt familiar, like Hyde's eyes that always see beyond the surface, or Gala's outfit which is a sign of kindness and trust. I borrowed those traits from them without even realizing. You took inspiration from them? Yes, our species seems to have the ability to do that, but Gala's fashion I couldn't keep after all. It came with responsibilities. People stopped me all the time to ask for medical advice. <laughs> Understandable, you were in a, uh, you know, hospital administration's outfit, if that was the case. I can see how that would be problematic. 
Yes, but then I found this fictional universe. Is it Star Trek? Is it actually Star Trek? It looks like Star Trek. I thought that for a moment. Where all the stories take place in the stars, so I changed my outfit to imitate theirs. And at some point, it all came together. One morning, I saw myself in the mirror, and I felt right. Like the way I looked matched who I was. It made me feel at peace. So although I look different now from when we first met, and although I have learnt the ways of this world a bit, and I've grown a bit, in many ways I still feel the same. Different but same. Yes, different but same. It makes sense to us. It really does. Oh, is that Laurel? Who's Laurel? No, this is from Pearl. Hmm. Still no news from Midge? Dang, he's got, he got people lining up. Let's go. <laughs> we think the odds are now 84.308% that she is phantoming you, ghosting you. Yeah, do you mean ghosting? We mean phantoming, as in when you think you hear a sound, but your ears are merely playing a trick on you. We thought we had established a hive connection with Midge, but it was only a phantom sound after all. Anyhow, what is Pearl saying? That her calendar might clear up soon, if we want to meet up. Ooh, Silver! It sounds like things are going very well indeed. I think it may be time I tell you a little bit about this. But we wish to order a drink as well. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Amanda. Our apologies, but the machine's having issues today. We'll let you know as soon as it's working again. Curious that Earth drink-making skills are so refined, yet so unreliable. This is a land of contradictions. It sure is. But do carry on, sibling. Poor Amanda not getting her drink. Man. Man. Right, so. I've been relying on Amanda to help me with the online part of online dating, and it's been working really well. On average. There also have been some small issues. Earthlings are strange. Online dating has a reputation for emphasizing that, yes. Some Earthlings express their interest, but when you say hello, they never answer back. While in real life, saying hello is a starter for 99.845% of conversations. It seems that online, more humorous or breeding-oriented openers are favored. However, if an opener is entirely horned, it is considered out of bonds and angrily dismissed. Horned? Yes, that is when prospective partners send you close-up pictures of their horns. Oh no! Oh, I know what they're talking about. Oh god! <laughs> they're quote-unquote horns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ludi pics. People do that. Oh, yes. I think it would be fine after a bit of conversation. If we get into the mood and they ask me first, I'd probably say yes. Ons can be pretty, you know? But it feels very strange when that's the first thing they do. Before they even write a single word. I can imagine. And then sometimes Earthlings express interest. But after reading a joke that is statistically funny 99.908% of the time, they answer with a sad face and block communications. Funny for you, 99.908% of the time. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, but you're... Yeah, that's a little different. Fortunately, online dating is governed by the law of large numbers, which favours persistence. We are patient. Amanda's been spending a lot of time on the app, and it started to work out. I'm now having conversations with some really nice people. Especially Pearl. He got a crush. He's got a crush. We prefer Laurel. Her facial features are more symmetrical. But Silver seems to favor the asymmetrical Earthling. It's just she sounds like a really good person. She's a communications director for a charity that fights homelessness. She cares about other people a lot. 
I don't think she's been very lucky in return. But she's very funny and curious of everything, and her smile? Please, desist. We can sense your hormones boiling. <laughs> oh, and she's the person you might be getting a date with? I really hope so. Do you have a day or time with your date? No. This is a different topic. Please excuse me. Oh. So I take it you've been enjoying your time on Earth, Miss Amanda? Hmm. Or not? No, we have been enjoying it. But we also see the limits of it. How do you mean? We are a hive mind. Our hive mind knows no boundaries or limitations. We share all our thoughts and desires. It is not difficult for us to connect. We are born connected, but earthlings are guarded. They have complex emotions. Mm hmm And they have no means of truly knowing what anyone else feels. That makes them afraid of judgment and of hurt. It must be very difficult and painful for them to connect deeply. It can be. There is so much they must let go of first. We could not live like that. You said that online networks were like a hive? Like a hive, but not a true hive. A true hive requires honesty and directness, as well as a desire to deeply understand others. I see you. You don't think you could ever adapt the way Silver has? Silver is different. Even when he was part of us, we could sense him looking outwards. That is why he has become such an amazing explorer. And that is why he made the effort to learn Earthling codes and behaviors. He did not just want to understand, he wanted to experience. We are not like him. We like to seek knowledge on what is different from us, but once we have that knowledge, we are satisfied. Uncovering it and bringing it back is what makes us... happy. Hmm. This is curious. It seems we're picking up some earthling instincts after all. It is a good thing that our data readings here should soon be completed. And Silver's on his way to getting a date. It would appear so. Amanda, we have to go. What? Again? That call was bad news. I should have given the, the thing to Silver. I hope he is going to be coming back. The agent. Too late. Just hide behind the counter. Quick. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Good evening, Mr. Agent. Act natural. We apologize, but our machine has been having issues. We cannot serve drinks at the moment. You know very well I'm not here for drinks. I'd rather not involve any more civilians in this, though. Oh, do you mean me? I'm sorry, but can't... Whatever this is, wait for another night. I haven't finished my drink yet, and it looks like rain again outside. Well, here's something that can't wait for starters. Barista, did you happen to find an ID card lying around? An ID card? No! No, 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 psh, no! Not that I recall, no. Well, you haven't been the most trustworthy element, so I think I'm going to look around for it, if it's all the same to you. Maybe it's fallen behind the counter. Let me check our lost and found drawer first. Would this happen to be it? No, don't give it back! No! 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 Well, well, how astonishing. It was here after all. Sounds like my suspicions weren't entirely wrong, were they? It was an honest mistake. Hmm. Before you make another honest mistake, I'd like you to remember that I'm good at my job. 
That sounds like a very impressive job to have. What is it you're doing exactly? We uncover illegal aliens and extradite them. Which is why I've been coming here in the first place. We keep getting tips that there have been alien sightings around this cafe. Speaking of which, have you noticed anything out of the ordinary, young man? I can't say that I have. I don't come here that often, but it's always seemed very above board to me. Are you sure the tips aren't a prank? It seems that some young people enjoy those as a pastime. There are very popular videos of them online. That... Maybe it is, but I still have to investigate properly. Otherwise, my superiors will have my head on a platter. But you can't waste your time in a cold trail either. Surely your superiors will see that you've done your best. I doubt that. They're a bit obsessed with the alien situation. Obsessed? Is it really that big of an issue? Well, having such unusual elements around disturbs the public peace. Your average Joe has no clue what to make of them, you know? It makes people feel unsettled. I see. Although the visible aliens aren't too bad from where I'm standing. At least we can identify and extract them. Aliens who try to pass for Earthlings are a bigger problem. Why so? For one, it just muddles things. No matter how much they try to look like Earthlings, they were born aliens and aliens will remain. But now they're aliens who don't look like aliens. What does that mean, you know? And where does it stop? What if some Earthling decided they want to look like aliens? That would be a huge mess. Would it? Anyway, the top brass insists that we go after them. And in the end, that makes my job a lot harder. All that time spent detecting them? Give me a good spacesuit wearing alien any day, you know? Oh, but don't worry about a thing. We at FIRE always find a way to keep the public safe. I see. So how do you go about detecting them exactly? That one's easy. Once I have my suspicions, I check their ID. That makes it clear, right? Right. I do wonder though, what is it? And I'm sorry if I'm being too curious. I have a habit of putting my mouth, my foot in my mouth. No, you're good. No harm in asking. In that case, what is it that makes aliens so very different? There are all sorts of people living here. They have different personalities, different looks. And for me, when I walk through the streets of Seattle and I see that no two people are alike, I'll admit that it makes me very happy. So if someone comes from further away, but they feel an earthling at heart, would they really be more different from the people who lived in this city? Then the people in the city are different from each other? Or would they just be another version of an earthling? Perhaps no less beautiful. Hmm. You know what? At the end of the day, I don't know. Nor do I care that much. <laughs> yeah, I have orders, that's it. <laughs> just trying to get the job done here. But you sure have opinions, don't you? You wouldn't happen to be friends with an alien yourself, would you? Now surely that is. You do know that harboring illegal aliens is a crime. Uh. What was that? Oh, look. My my machine, it's working. <laughs> That's um the only noise you heard. Yeah, definitely not Amanda hiding back here. Just the coffee machine. It seems to have restarted now. That's a relief. Right. This is getting more suspicious by the minute. Stand aside, I'm going to conduct a search. Meow! What the heck is this? If I'm not mistaken, this is a local cat. It's come over once before. Looks like it might be hiding from another stray. It's very cute. It's also irrelevant to the current... Drat. I have an emergency also. <laughs> the noise was weird. But if either of you think you're off the hook, you're solely mistaken. You'll be hearing from me soon. Meow. 
Is it is it a Neko Mimi hearing all of it? Silva, you're trembling. It's alright. You can come out now, I think, Amanda. Kitty's sleeping. Well, we found this experience 100% distasteful. Actually, it was 40.235% distasteful and 20.834% scary and 38.931% exciting. <laughs> okay. I apologize. This is just nerves. We're truly sorry for this disturbance. It's not your fault at all. But should you be sticking around here? The agent might come back. No. I lured him away, at least for now. You did? Although it's a good thing the little cat came in when it did, I bought us some precious minutes. What sort of earthling are you? Meow. Hmm, we see. Do you speak cat? We can feel this earthling's intent better than usual. It is expressing it clearly. It wishes to rest and be left alone. Not wrong. I... Oof, I feel all out of sorts. Is the machine really working again? It is indeed. Then make us a drink, and one for silver as well. The same one should be fine for both. Just make it hot and comforting. And what would you like, sibling? I think I need some sweetness right now. I would really appreciate a hot, very sweet, very comforting drink. Oh, let's uh, catch up on our Tomodot chill real quick. Does everything happen for a reason or no? Nah? I wonder how everyone's doing. Oh, ad it's an ad for the headphones. Trucker fell asleep and crashed near the 4th Avenue. No casualties, but quite the property damage. I'd reckon you want to avoid the area for the moment. Road construction on Lenora Avenue. Darling, I could be behind your neck without you realizing it. What makes you think I actually need permission to enter a building? Why are you threatening people on Tomodachi, Mr. High? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> so suspicious. I was thinking out loud because a lot of things happened lately, so I was just processing it. Saw so as if I was insensitive. Alright, so something hot, sweet, and comforting. Something like like a, a chocolate. A chocolate. And very sweet. And he's the only sweetness I have. And I no longer have the thingy. Fudge. Probably missed out on a little bit of dialogue or, or achievement or something. Here we go. Plenty of sweetness in this. Dip through the finger. This tastes amazing. Thank you, Akablisa. This really is my kind of drink. This is very thick, is it not? The viscosity of this seems to be nearing 10,000 CPS. We like how different this experience is from the drink you served us the other night. I am impressed though, Silver. You've become quite savvy at navigating this situations. Even if I'm sure you'd rather avoid them altogether. Yes, I would definitely prefer to avoid them, but I need to get used to them anyway. It does sound like he's got suspicious today. That's far from the worst of it. What do you mean? Akaplisa, you know that cafe I said I'm opening? Yeah. Well, it's not exactly like this cafe. In fact, it's not exactly a cafe at all. What? For the past few months, it's been a base of operations for save. Save? 
Save Society for Aliens and Various Extraterrestrials. So the opposite of fire. Wow. I know, it sounds very reckless. No, it sounds rather admirable. I think I underestimated you. I don't know. But you see why I've had to become savvy, as you said. I have a lot of people depending on me now. Those who are just arriving to Earth and are confused and scared. Those who have adopted Earthling appearances and are trying to blend in. Those who are learning how to understand life here. And how to understand themselves. For all of them, it's an ex existential matter. Not everyone is meant to have a hive mind. I know I wasn't. No offense, Amanda. We are not offended. We have always known you are different from us. It is all the same to us. You are our sibling whether you live as a hive or as an earthling. Panda, I really do love you. Aww. What is love? <laughs> what is love? <laughs> that is not a conversation I think we can have right now. I'll explain it to you tomorrow, okay? After we both have rest. We will remind you of it. I know you will. I think I'm getting a little tired now. Is it alright if we go back? Absolutely. Our energy is also 98.429% depleted. Silver, is there anything we can do to help? No, I don't think so. Thank you for offering, really. But you have a different part to play in all of this. And you've been playing it very well. You're very kind. Well, in that case, have a good night, the two of you. And please, come again soon. You'll always be welcome here. Us and many others. We know, and we're grateful. Good night, Akaplisa. I'd say good night to the cat, but I don't think it needs my wishes. <laughs> good night, Akaplisa. See? Now we can use good night. We find it rather odd that... Maybe we should continue this chat while we walk. Alright. <laughs> what a night. This has been a great deal more animated than we bargained for. And I suppose we have a new four-legged friend now. I wonder what you're doing here, little one. Don't you have a home? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Meow. Meow. Oh well, I guess it's time for you to let me close up shop. But Silva, it's an honor to be related to someone like you. She just spoiled it. <laughs> if you didn't see the first playthrough, um, she's an alien too. We're siblings. 